Welcome everybody to this evening's webinar session for MA Web Centers. I'm really, really excited about tonight's topic, um, but before we talk about what we're going to be covering this evening, I just wanted to remind everybody that these webinars are recorded and that successful recordings are being uploaded to our YouTube playlist. So if you go to mawc411.com and if you click on training and support and then webinars, you'll be able to see both the link to our YouTube account and you'll also be able to see um, the playlist preloaded into that page. So if you're looking to review different topics or just kind of brush up on some of your basics or other strategies that we've covered in previous webinars, um, it's a great place to go and, and recap on information. Um, our webinar series is a four-week series, so the first and the third Tuesdays of every month are dedicated to Web Center owner prospecting. So what we do is we do an overview, a live overview similar to a UBP. And uh, we basically just overview the Web Center program. You know, what are the benefits to being a Web Center owner? Um, you know, what is the product like? How does the product compete in the marketplace? Uh, what is the process like? What kinds of support exist for you? And what are the options that a or a potential distributor or an existing distributor has to get started as a Web Center owner? And so those are conducted both by myself and by various uh, Web Center trainers and other Web Center owner extraordinaires and leaders in the field. So we're real excited about that series. Um, and then on the second, uh, excuse that that was actually the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. On the first and third Tuesday of every month, what we're doing is what we call Web Center Owner Continuing Education. And that's where we'll either do, um, we'll pick a topic and we'll just delve right into a, to a topic and just, you know, um, go through some strategies around either sales for websites or the marketplace or social media marketing or whatever it is that can help to enhance your Web Center business. That's one of the things that we'll do. Another thing that we'll do on occasion is just a live call workshop where together we can go ahead and make calls together and prospect and message our prospects for um, for website appointments, which has been really, really great. Um, you know, and so we were, we'll, we aren't really always doing these on the first and Thursday, the call workshop, just because we realized that some people felt more comfortable calling their prospects earlier in the day. So just stay engaged, you know, join our Facebook group. If you go to facebook.com forward slash 90 day fast track, you can join that group and just, you know, get the scoop on what's going on and what kinds of resources are available for you. So what I want to talk about tonight is about the hashtag web volume contest that we just launched yesterday. Um, it's it's really, really an exciting opportunity for you guys. We've done some 90 day fast tracks before, and I'm going to talk about what this contest was really built on. But what you should know is that this is an incredible opportunity to grow your business. And we've extended the regular registration through the rest of this week. And so because of that, I wanted to go over what the contest was all about, um, how it can support your business and how you can actually get started doing the activities every day that are going to help you to sell more websites while you grow your business and earn points to win this contest because guys you don't want to miss this opportunity like I said regular registration has been extended um, throughout the rest of this week so if you haven't yet joined this contest I highly recommend that you join it yourself and that you get other people to join it in your group as well because when you see what it what in, is entailed in this contest you're gonna know um, that if you stay engaged, it's virtually impossible for your business not to grow. I mean, just as a whole. So huge, huge opportunity. And that's what we're going to be covering tonight. So we're going to go over the details of what the contests are. And then we're going to go into the fundamentals, like learning to identify you know, where are good website candidates and how do you talk to website candidates? If you have a prospect, what should you say to them? Um, how can you leverage our teams of professionals to help sell the website and take care of the, you know, the technical um, uh, needs of your client and, and the mechanics of it all? And then, you know, how do you tie it all together? So before we go into that, I want to give a recap because um, you need to know what you're dealing with. So, you know, the Web Center program is very, very unique because, you know, we're helping small to medium sized businesses succeed by participating in really the best way to market themselves in the market today. Right. So we're talking about small businesses like restaurants, like mom and pop shops, like veterinarians, like, you know, doctors, practices, gyms, etc. Right. And so what our system is, is it's an entire online marketing strategy packaged into one neat and easy to use system. Right. And so, first of all, you know, I, I hope everybody would agree that the best way to, to market yourself right now is really online. 
right? Less people are looking at newspaper ads and print advertising and sending out, you know, coupons in the mail and all that stuff. I mean, yeah, there is some validity behind those methods of advertising, but the ROI is just not as big as the return on investment for an online marketing strategy. And that's why um, our system is not just about selling websites. That's why our product is about selling an entire online strategy and a service that's backed by unlimited customer care. So what's really, really cool is that while your customer is is your is a is a business owner and their business is winning so is your unfranchise and here's why the average retail profit for every website sale that you make is a thousand dollars and that's i mean that's substantial right um so again that's the average but you can earn up to twenty seven hundred dollars for a sale um and as you get better at talking to prospects and identifying needs and listening and setting more qualified appointments you're going to start selling websites at higher at higher prices and that's when you're going to start to see even higher retail profits it has to just simply do with how much value you can build into a product it really is as simple as that in addition to high retail profits though um, it is a BV generating machine right every single sale that you make is worth 225 BV initially and it's worth 30 BV per month for every single month that your client remains an active client that's incredible and I think that um, you know a lot of people when they look at the web center program initially they think well that's a retail thing you know because the retail profit is so high they forget to acknowledge the fact that the BV is so substantial and by the way guys that BV is a is a standard BV product so just like any other BV product you can move that volume um, into different uh, banks in your organization of people that you have personally sponsored you know following all standard BV rules so you know for example Ryan and I in our business we have almost oh, we have over 200 clients and they're all you know active clients so that's 30 BV a month times about 200 or you know give or take a few and um, because we just went over that 200 threshold and um, that's a lot of volume that we get to move around in our group right but let's say you only had 10 of those that's fine like you can knock out 10 clients in a year with no problem if you had 10 clients that would be 300 BV that you could just move at your discretion and and you would get it anyway which is exciting um, in addition to high retail profits and high BV, um, you know, opportunities, there is an incredible opportunity for you to expand your network with high quality individuals, right? Your clients are going to be business owners. They're small to medium sized business owners. They're entrepreneurs. They are self motivated. They are, they do not need to be directed what to do, right? They're people that generally understand the value behind diversifying their income. Most people that own businesses um, and that are entrepreneurial spirited are people that want multiple streams of income. And so you're going to have an incredible opportunity to prospect and recruit. And, you know, if you've ever heard of the, the concept of recruiting up with the Web Center program, and, you know, it could not be a truer statement than the opportunity to recruit up than, than it is here. So, you know, I'll say this. Some of the, if not the best, um, distributors in my personal organization were website clients first that, we, you know, we ended up showing shop.com and that we've ended up, you know, they wanted more information. They ended up being business partners. And guys, like, for example, one of them was um, a website client that was referred to us by another website client who ended up seeing, you know, our organization actually drawn out because Ryan and I were doing some strategizing. So we had drawn out our organization on a marker board and said, hey, what's that? It was that simple. And then we ended up showing him the plan and he was in. Guess what? A year later, his his personal, because of that, that, that person brought in over 70 people. 70, 70, you know, not seven, seven, zero, 70. And again, it's because you're dealing with people that own businesses and that no other business owners and that, you know, there's no, you know, reprogramming or delayed gratification issues to come over or overcome. It's just really nice. So, you know, again, the, the, the web center program is an incredible opportunity, like for you to help somebody to grow their traditional business, for you to earn retail profit, to earn ongoing BB and to expand your network. So when you say all those things, right, I mean, would you agree that the Web Center program is just, I mean, in my opinion, it's just a gold mine. It's a win-win all around. Your customer wins, your unfranchised wins. And so when I look at this, I go, what more could you possibly need than to look at this and say, gosh, I just want to take that to its fullest potential? 
But the fact is, is that not enough people are actually taking full advantage of, of the opportunity that's right in front of them. And that's fine. So what we wanted to do is just come up with some brand new motivation, right? We're looking for a way for you and for your team to take more advantage of what this opportunity is. Because I'm telling you guys, I have personally taken full advantage and it is great. I mean, I, I could not, I, if I could just, you know, give you an ounce of what I feel for this program and what it's done for myself and my group and my family, then I know that you would feel this way too. So we're just looking for some way to kind of infuse you guys with that level of motivation. And that's when it hit us. Let's go ahead and do a contest. And you know why we decided to do a contest is because we were thinking about the psychology behind what I was trying to get across. And so Jeremy and I were talking, it's like, you know, what are we, what are we trying to get across here? The program is, you know, a big enough cookie on its own. Right. And so what are we trying to get across? Really? We're trying to get across this, this drive, this motivation to do better, to compete against yourself. And that's why a contest works is because when you compete, when you, when you compete in a contest or in a sport or anything, there's a level of, um, of, of something, you know, a je ne sais quoi that makes you take it to, to the next level because you want to A, be better than yourself and A, be better than the person you're competing against so you can win, right? Just think about sports, right, guys? Or think about anything you've done where there was a, an element of competition that was added to it. Um, when you do that, uh, you, you know, it's, it's, it's different, right? You know, if you're just playing a sport just for the sport, sake of playing the sport. There's nothing wrong with that, but you're just going to play the sport. But once you have, you know, a competition involved, now that's going to give you a drive to do better. And that's what we wanted to inject into your web center business with this contest. So let's go over exactly what the contest is, how you earn points and, and what it's, it's grounded on. So the web volume contest is set up to help you grow your entire unfranchise as a web center owner. OK, so this is something that Jeremy and I both felt extremely, extremely strongly about. This was not going to be just a retail contest. This was not going to be only about selling websites. We wanted this contest to support your entire business as a whole rather than just part of your business. Right. Everybody knows that if you want to have a strong and healthy on franchise, you need to be mastering the basic five. Right. You need to be doing result producing activities synergistically right? You need to be selling tickets, selling products, and selling the business. Those are the three things that are going to make you money in the long run. So when we were thinking of what we were going to do for a contest, we knew that if it didn't result in, if it wasn't a result producing activity, we really didn't care. And, um, about adding it. So we're not going to talk about, you know, random little things that, that don't produce a result that you can earn points for. It's not going to be complicated like that. And I love that. Also, We've done some 90 day fast tracks before. And so, and we've come up with some real successful things that have been very duplicatable. And so we'll talk about that in just a moment. But for now, take a look at what the goals for the contest are. We want you to increase your retail profits and your ongoing BV through website sales. That is absolutely a goal. We want to support you in selling as many websites as you possibly can during the web volume contest. The second goal is for you to personally sponsor new distributors. So you'll see what the point system looks like in just a bit, but understand this, um, it's listed second, but you can earn more points for personally sponsoring than you can for selling a website. All right. We want you to get as many partners to international convention as you possibly can. We want you to jump new pen levels. We want you to be a challenge winner at the international convention, and we want you to grow your entire business. So when you look at these contest goals and you ask yourself, is this contest going to take away from my business or is it going to support it? The answer is completely clear. It's so transparent. The answer is simple. Of course, this contest is going to support your entire business. Look at the goals. There's retail goals. There's ticket goals. There's um, distributor expansion goals, right? There's goals to hit uh, new and achieve new pin levels. Um, this is a contest that is set up to put you on track to really, really achieve what your goals are, um, you know, as soon as May 18th and then going forward. And more than that, once you once you plug into something like this and the way that we've structured it, I think you're going to find that um, you're going to have some new business building habits that you're really, really pleased with, because that's something that we found in the past when we run, um, you know, non contest versions of what we're talking about today. 
is that people were very pleased with their new habits. And if they didn't like their business building habits, then at least they became aware of what was going on that they didn't like so that they could measure, monitor, and make an adjustment so that their business would start to function the way that they wanted it to function. So because this is a full business building um, uh, contest that we're doing, we wanted the prize to reflect that. We didn't want the prize to just be retail or, you know, profits or whatever. Plus, the Web Center program already is a cash cow anyway. You can earn thousands of dollars, like, if you just do what we ask you to do. Um, but we wanted to take it to the next level. Like I said, it's an entire business building prize package to reflect the kinds of work and the kinds of things that you guys are going to succeed with. So the third place prize is $500 cash and it's VIP seating and treatment recognition, et cetera, at the MA International Convention in 2014 that's happening in Greensboro. Now, yeah, VIP seating and recognition is cool, but what you don't realize is that when you get VIP seating, you get the opportunity to network with million dollar club members and corporate team members and top field leaders and top field builders. And, you know, it's a really, really kind of an interesting opportunity for you to be able to network and have lunch with these people and, and sit with these people and take it all in. Yeah, the view is way better down on the floor. I promise you that. But again, the opportunity to network with, with business builders and million dollar club members is awesome. The second place prize is $1,000. It's also a one hour corn with our, with Dennis Franks. You guys, again, I've said this on the, um, on the meet on sessions that we've done on this, but you cannot put a price tag on that. That man is so brilliant and he is such an industry expert. He's got years in this game, right? And, you know, he's got years in the game period, right? As an, you know, an NFL football player and as a, just an industry professional, like he knows what he's doing. And so to have the opportunity to sit down and, and talk with Dennis Franks about what's going on in your personal business, you either one-on-one -on -one or with people in your group as a coring, you know, that's totally priceless to have that set of eyes to sit there and talk to you and, and help you and guide you, right? You're also going to get that same networking and VIP and recognition that you get in third place in your second place prize. The first place prize is $2,000, two tickets to the international convention, two tickets to the special business building seminar. And yeah, I did just say two. Um, the special business building seminars are the special, um, they're, they're, they used to be called moving up seminars and they leave from New York and Miami on the utopia. And it's a special training where you learn from the best. So like coming up, I believe this weekend is Jim Winkler, Olivia Lee and Shane Krangle in Miami. So you get to spend two days with those people for usually you pay a thousand dollars to spend. And, um, but with this prize, you would not have to pay anything. And um, you learn from them about strategies that are working. And then more than that, you do workshops with them. So you leave that boat with booked appointments. You're leaving that boat with practical experience and with the opportunity to, to um, problem solve and overcome objections and all that stuff. So, you know, it, it's a huge, huge, huge opportunity to, to get on, on and, and to take advantage of the opportunity to meet with people and, and ask questions. And like I said, if things come up with your call workshop that you're not sure about, you can talk to Jim Winkler and say, Jim, what do you think about this? Or how should I approach that? You can't, again, you can't put price tags on that kind of stuff. Um, free year of OPC3, free year of Web Center fees waived, VIP seating at MAIC, recognition, etc. So you guys can see that the first, second, and third place prizes are awesome, but also keep in mind this, that it does not matter if you win the first, second, or third place prize, because if you can stay plugged in, then you can just do the small little things that we're going to recommend that you do just so that you, you pace yourself during this contest, your business is going to win right? Your business is going to grow and that is a win for you any day of the week, right? Because at the end of the day, we all did this to make money. Um, so, so and money to pay for something that was important for you. And so that's why you have to stay focused. And so again, we're going to give you some recommended track records and, uh, or, you know, for you to stay on, 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 um, on point here and, and on track to actually win and, and see the results that you want to see. We, we went over what that track was um, yesterday on our webinar at 8.30, which was uploaded to our contest website, which is webvolumecontest.com. So if you haven't, if you didn't see that, that webinar last night, or if you're interested to see, you know, um, what the week one launch looked like, you can go ahead and check that out. And then again, you can still register anytime this week. 
So here's how you win. You win by earning points. Every Friday night by midnight Eastern Standard Time, you're going to submit a report via our website, which is webvolumecontest.com. Just for submitting the report, you're going to get five points. When you sell a website, regardless of what the sale price is, you're going to get 50 points. When you personally sponsor a qualified active distributor, you're going to receive 100 points. If you jump a pen level, you're going to get 50. And if you do another, if you jump it a second time within the contest period, you're going to get an additional 100 points for that. And then this is something interesting. So the tickets for a major event directly purchased from corporate, you're going to get 50 uh, points per ticket. Now, Jeremy and I added a an exception to this, a little bit of a, um, a cool little thing that we threw in there. We realized that a lot of people bought their tickets to international while they were at World Conference. And so because of that, um, we have made the decision that all tickets that were purchased from corporate, regardless of when they were purchased, all the way up until May 18th, which is the end of the contest, are going to count for points. So if you purchase them at World Conference like you should have, those are going to count toward this contest. That is the only category where activity outside of the contest period is going to count. So, you know, if you sold a website a week ago, it doesn't count. But if you did purchase your ticket to the major event a week ago, that does count. When you attend one of the brand new Web Center trainings, you can get 10 points. And when you achieve the Web Center Challenge for World, for International Convention, you get 200 points for that. So you can download what that challenge is on, under uh, Unfranchised. Just go to Downloads and you can see what it entails. Now, the challenge that for the International Convention, you actually have, like I believe, until July to achieve that. But if you are able to achieve that during this contest period, which is several weeks early, we want to award you 200 points for doing that because that's definitely a very, very, um, you know, substantial thing to achieve. So, yeah, if you don't achieve the, the challenge during the contest period, that's fine. You won't get the points for it, but you should still go for the challenge anyway. All right. So, like we said, registration um, was until March 1st, but we actually have extended it through this Friday up until Saturday morning at midnight. So you have until the 8th to register and you pay a $10 fee. It's so simple. It's so inexpensive. Once you pay that $10 fee, you download the participant handout, register for the contest weekly webinar series, and you're ready to go. Um, you can do that by going to webvolumecontest.com and just completing the online registration and the, and the webinar series registration as well. Guys, I highly recommend you take advantage of this. Do not let this pass you by. I promise you, like you will be grateful if you can just stay plugged in it and, and do those things. So couple of quick notes. The best part about this whole thing is that it's based off of something that works. And I love that. I love that we didn't just throw together some random challenge for people and, you know, hope that it's going to help your business grow. The activities that we recommend, like I said, we want to give you a pace to go on. Now you can take that pace and double it, or you can do it in half time. It's up to you. But know this, that the pace that we're going to recommend to you produces results. The first, second, and third fast track results, each fast track had about 100 to 125 people on it. They brought on 798 new business partners, right? That's about 300 people bringing on about 800 new business partners. That's huge inside of 90 day periods. Okay. They earned $245,000 in website retail profit, and they sold almost a half a million dollars in other Market America products. And here's why. Because while you're doing this fast track, you might be talking to a website candidate, and then you find out that they're really a motives candidate or really a Nutrametrics candidate. And because of that, the conversation goes a different way, and you end up selling new products or bringing on a business partner instead or vice versa. You might think somebody's an excellent business partner candidate, and they're not. They're really just a good website candidate, right? So you don't know where the conversations are going to go, but what you do know is that if you are talking to three people a day, like we recommend that you do, that you're going to have a whole lot of conversations and a whole lot of possibilities that can open up a ton of doors for you. And by the way, guys, look at all the pin levels that were achieved. 82 coordinators, 73 new executives, six new masters, three new senior masters, two new professionals, and actually one new director that's not listed there. You guys, this is an incredible process. It's proven. It's been time tested. It's duplicatable. Again, we want everything to support your entire business. So Let's talk about some tips to winning, okay? So we're going to scan through this because, you know, you, you can obviously see that this contest is going to be helpful for your web center business. Let's talk about how you can earn points. Well, it starts with building belief in the product. 
if you don't believe in this product, you're not going to talk about it, right? That's fair enough. It talk, then you're going to talk about identifying who your website possibilities are. What is your approach going to be when you talk to them? And how are you going to leverage our team to seal the deal and make sure that this is functioning on its own and that you don't need to be there to do silly things like, you know, um, edit websites? Because that's not why you got into this. So all sales in general, this is just sales 101. It starts with posture, right? And where does that posture come from? It comes from making a recommendation based on truth, right? So just think about anytime you make any recommendation, whether it's for a movie or a restaurant or a lawyer or a lawn service or whatever, when you make a recommendation for anything in life, why do you do it, right? You do it because you like it. You like that product. You like that service. You had a good experience. You know somebody that had a good experience. And you want to help somebody, right? It's that simple. So if somebody is talking, you know, you I don't know, let's say you're like in a, in a lobby at a, at a studio or whatever at a fitness center, and somebody's talking about the fact that they just need a new lawn care business, right? So that's fine. I know, I happen to know of people that are really good in that industry and, and they just started their own business, but they have almost two decades of experience and, you know, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be going with them this, this time around. And so if I heard somebody talking about that, you bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to say, Hey, you guys got to go with green pro, right? They're excellent. They've got decades of experience. And now that they're on their own, it's like even better. Um, and that's what I would say. And I would, and that would be an honest recommendation. It's a referral, right? And it's all rooted in the fact that I have belief in the fact that these people can help those people, right? So simple. Belief comes from knowing that it's good and knowing you can help. It's really, really that simple. So how can you help a small to medium-sized business owners? Well, this is how you help. Five main ways. One is to increase their revenues, right? When you're talking about good advertising and good online marketing strategy, you can really help them to increase their revenues because they're now leveraging the internet in a more effective way to gain new customers. They can decrease their expenses because we provide everything they need to market their website with just a nominal fee of $60 a month. It's so inexpensive. In fact, other companies are charging anywhere from $80 to $160 per month. We charge 60 per month, we cap it at that, and we give them all the tools that they need to market their, their business. So rather than having to nail down solutions for email marketing and mobile commerce and e-commerce and email in general and domains and hosting and support or content management, all of that's included. And so they decrease their expenses while they're increasing their revenues. They also can increase customer satisfaction because they can easily manage their content and their website can be interactive. It can be a really great way to support their client base. They get to participate in the most effective way to market their business in 2014. There is no better way than to market yourself online right now. Um, and social media, and social media is one-on-one, -on -one, and you can drive traffic to your website using social media. You know, it's all it's all about, you know, how can you increase the revs, how can you decrease the expenses, how can you increase the customer satisfaction, and how can you do that in a simple way, right, guys? It needs to be simple. That's the other thing. When you see what a small to medium-sized business needs to be effective online right now, you would just laugh. Just think about restaurant owners. Most restaurant owners live in their restaurant because they never get to go home. So do you think they have time to manage an online marketing strategy with a bunch of random companies? Of course not. We offer simplification and that is huge, right? So keep in mind, guys, it's not about knowing the features of our solution. It's not about knowing the technology. What it is about is knowing the benefits. How can we positively influence a small to medium-sized business owner? right? It's no different than OPC3, right? If you've had a positive experience with OPC3, or if you've shared a third party testimonial about OPC3 with a, with a customer, why did you do that? You did it because it worked, because you knew you could help somebody, because, you know, you heard that OPC3 may have helped somebody with inflammation of their joints. And so you heard someone complaining about it and you said something as simple as, you know, I have a friend that had that. This seemed to help a little, you know, uh, significantly for this person. It may or may not help you, but would you want to try it? It's that, that simple. You know, you might be able to help. So you make a recommendation or a referral. Well, website clients are the same way. Whether you have a personal positive experience with, with a website client or if you know of good ones or if you just know this is a great company and that we're going to do what we say we're going to do, you can share a recommendation with a, with a business owner in the exact same manner, the exact same um, uh, spirit as how you would do it for OPC3. 
So let me show you some of the benefits. I'm going to show you some before and afters and some testimonials of some clients because I want you to have the same kind of backbone that I have. All right, so this is Shermahorn Seafood, and this is a testimonial from them. Having our website has increased our, our order out business substantially. We especially love the new email marketing system. Saved us money from having to have a service with constant contact, and better than that, it's way simpler to manage. I told you that simplicity is going to be a big hook for clients. For these people, it was a big hook. They don't have to log into Constant Contact and then log into their website. They just log into their website admin and they can manage everything. So this is what their website looked like before, and this is what it looks like after. So you can see there's a, there's a, I mean, a very dramatic um, increase uh, and how, how beautiful it looks, right? It's definitely way more attractive and may, way more strategic. There's a call to action. The specials are right there. It's it's easy. You can get gift cards, online menu, catering. You know, you could see why this new website made a big difference in their business. Here's another one from the Diamond Gold Connection. During our first year online with our old site, we did no sales and our design was so horrible that it probably negatively affected our business. Not only do we have a more beautiful website that more accurately represents the quality of our business, but since it was coupled with several marketing tools, we have cleared six figures in online sales during our first year of selling online. Guys, that's a whole bunch of good stuff. More beautiful website. Simple way to market. Marketing tools are huge. Now, a lot of people say they have clients that don't use the marketing tools, and I don't understand that. Just pick one and get and get started because you don't even know how much that can help that person's business. Just pick one. You don't have to do all the tools at first. Just pick one. Here's what their site looked like before. I honestly feel like someone scanned a newspaper ad and put it online. And here's what it looked like after. Now, that is a beautiful and strategic e-commerce website. Really, really simple to see the different categories. This is a, a um, uh, an HTML5 slider up here, so you can see all the different um, you know ads that slide in and out. It's a beautiful site, and you can see why their, their online sales has made such a big jump. Here's another one, Dave's Pet City. Although we had an excellent social media presence and we interact with our customers on Facebook all the time, and they do, they have thousands of followers, we find that we were not capturing sales and our full potential because our website was so lacking. With our new site, we have a better way to funnel our fans and our followers on social media to learn more about our products and services and to take action. We get this all the time, guys. We get people that think, oh, you know, well, I have social media. Well, that's great. You need social media. It's word of mouth advertising. It's money in the bank. You need to be doing social media. But if you don't have a way to capture that audience and, and close a sale or bring them to the next level, then all it is is online socializing. So if you're using social media to socialize, that's fine. But if you're using it to interact with your customers and capture sales, then what you need is an entire online marketing strategy. You need a good website. So this was their site at first. And again, it's not horrible. There's a whole ton of text on there that a lot of people probably have never read. Their logo is on there way too many times. And it's long and skinny and just like really awkward looking. Kind of looks like a Word document. And this is their website after. Again, you can see this is beautiful. It's simple. It's attractive. It's, you know, as a user of a website, if you got to this website or if you got to this website, which one would you prefer to interact with, right? The websites are set up in a way that are meant to really drive business, meant to really help the business owner to succeed online. And I just love this. I love this company. And guys, now when I'm, I'm telling you, when I, when I come across website candidates, I don't even think twice. I don't bat an eye. I know I can help them. All I need to do is figure out what their issues are, where they want to improve so that I can identify what their need is and offer a solution, which is an appointment where I can tell them about all of the stuff that I'm telling you about right now. Right. So it really boils down to this, guys. You can help a small business owner. Keep it as simple as that. You're not selling. You're helping. OK, make that mental switch in your head. And by the way, that will help you communicate better. And that will that will definitely be better received by the people that you're talking to. We're better because we're all inclusive. We're not selling websites. We're selling online marketing strategies with everything that they need, and we do it in a simple way so they don't have to log into a million places. We also provide unlimited 24-7 award-winning customer care, free upgrades to the software. Guys, the things that Brett and Jeremy and I have been talking about for the past two weeks, free upgrades that are coming are going to blow your mind. It's going to be incredible. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. We really view ourselves as in partnership with your clients and with you. So we, you know, again, this is this is not just some 
online tech thing that you can buy. This is backed by people, and you can't put a price on that. We are truly high tech, high touch. So let's talk about where the candidates are. They're everywhere, right? Candidates are absolutely everywhere. What we're going to talk about is your warm market today. Now, we do have webinars that go through how to talk to people in your cold market, which are people that you don't know. Like, so for example, if you see an advertisement on a van um, of some contractor and you don't know how to approach them, that's really a two call approach. And we can talk about that. We, we do talk about that on other webinars. But for tonight, I want to talk about warm market prospecting because that's the most effective way to get started. And it's honestly what your goal should be anyway. So even if you are prospecting in cold markets, your goal should be to warm them up and put them into your warm market. So let's talk about how to build a warm market, how to do some research and what you should say to them. It starts with using a possibilities list. Who do you know that owns a business, that works for a business, that you conduct business with? For example, where do you go out to eat? People that are well-connected, that you want to get to know, etc. On the left-hand side here, you're going to see a bunch of um, industries that are very popular, that have been closing a lot of sales lately, just to give you a starting point. Um, we can virtually do uh, business in any industry, but you know, I just wanted to give you a couple of industries that are highly um, successful with our, with our system that might trigger some thoughts for you. So then you're going to fill it out. That's the next important thing. You actually have to fill out the names list. So I wrote down a bunch of people that I wanted to contact. This was the week before World World Conference. So, and actually, like I said on last night's webinar, I've actually closed 90% of what's on this list right now. So, you know, it really just comes down to actually creating new lists and, and contacting these prospects and putting them through the process, guys. It's, it's just a matter of time. All right. Now, once you put names on your on your list, what you want to do is just a little bit of candidate research, because if you find out just a little bit about that prospect's current situation, um, you will be so excited to pick up the phone because you know that their menu is out of date or you know that, um, you know, their website is really, really old looking or you couldn't find a website for them or whatever the situation is. But you have to agree if there's a specific thing that, you know, you can help them with, you're going to be real, real um, motivated to pick up that phone or walk into their business or whatever and communicate with them. So things that you're going to be looking for, do they have a site? Google them. That's it. Is it any good? Has it been updated? Are they using social media? Are they calling to action? In, in general, you're just looking at this the same way a consumer would look at the website. You don't need to be a web developer to know if it's a good website. And in fact, I've said this a million times and I'll say it again. The most important perspective of if the website looks good and is working well is your consumer point of view because that's who they're trying to communicate with. So as a consumer, you have an incredible opportunity to make a quick two-minute evaluation on somebody's website, right? Is this a website you would shop on? Is this a website that represents a business in a way that would make you want to pick up the phone and do business with them? Yes or no? And if the answer is no, why? And then use that as a way to form some good questions. So here's what I did. I went through this and I went through a bunch of them. So here's a couple. I'm going to use this example, Tokyo Asian Cuisine. Their menu was wicked out of date. I knew their menu was out of date because I eat at that restaurant all the time. And I went to go online to check out their um, their menu. And there are items on there that they don't make anymore. Their prices were um, were not correct anymore. And there were all these things that I knew were wrong. So what I did was I picked up the phone and I asked a few questions. I said, hey, you know, I eat in the restaurant all the time. And I, you know, I just looked online and I'm just wondering, is your menu up to date? No, I could have called them up and said, hey, I was looking online and your web your website is horrible and it doesn't look good. Your menu's out of date and I want to fix that. That's an aggressive way to do this. It's very, um, it's also kind of combative. So I recommend you don't do that. I recommend that you use the information you find with your research to ask a question that you already know the answer to because it's way more powerful for you to get them to say, wow, you know what, our menu is not out of date than it is for you to call them up and tell them that their menu is out of date. Also, psychologically, it's just softer, right? So when they pick up the phone and they say, oh, yeah, you know, we've been meaning to do that. Now you can turn around and say, oh, really? So um, do you have somebody to do that? Or how do you currently update your website? You could follow up with just a few more questions, do some data mining, and then eventually offer them an appointment. The next step is to contact them. Pick up the phone or walk into their business or when you see them socially. It's simple as this, conversational marketing. Starts with some social stuff, how, and then you're going to transition to how's work, how's business been going, into how's your website doing. 
I don't believe in scripts because people are people. My number one rule in sales is to be a human being first, right? And so you need to, you need to feel this kind of stuff out. And so what I do recommend is that you have an idea for where you want the conversation to go, but that you're listening and your ears are wide open in case the conversation decides to go another way, right? But if you have this kind of roadmap in your brain, and you know you're going to go from friendly kind of warm and fuzzy stuff into how's work or how's business and then into how's the website doing or do you have a website at all that's going to allow you to talk about things like how's their business or how's the website doing if you don't ask those kinds of questions or if you don't transition the conversation in that direction these are not conversations that you're going to get to have so you need to make sure that you're actually asking these questions so here's how we do it. Data mining and listening. We start off with that normal stuff. Hey, how are things going? What's new? How's the family? How's business been? Right? So I just switched it from family and friends to how's business or how's work. Right? That's real simple. At that point, they're going to let me know. And based on whatever they say is how I'm going to respond next. I can't tell you what they're going to say because every person is different. Every human, uh, every business is different. So if somebody tells me business has been so crazy good, I can't even keep up, my response is simple. Really, that's awesome. I'm so excited to hear that. Um, what are you doing to manage it all? Do you guys have a website? And then they'll say, well, yes or no. But I'm going to transition it into a website anyway. Just because their business is doing well doesn't mean that they don't need a better website. Maybe they need a better website to help manage all the good business and the positive growth that's happening. Or if they say business has been really slow, I'll respond with, well, what are you guys doing to get your name out there? Are you doing any advertising? Oh, really? Do you guys have a website? Cool. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to start talking about those things because I'm going to transition the conversation. Again, what it, what it comes down to is can you, can you hear what they're saying and not be so focused on what you're going to say next that you miss an opportunity to have a, a meaningful conversation? The point here is that it's about listening. It's about data mining. It's about transitioning the conversation at the appropriate time. It's not about memorizing some stupid script that you're going to read off to them. All right? So just so you guys know, they're going to respond in one of four ways, almost indefinitely. They're either going to say it's doing great, it's doing terribly, they don't have one, or they're working on it. Either way, your job is to not jump the gun and try and sell an appointment right away. Your job is to ask two or three more follow-up questions regardless of what their response is. So if they say it's doing great, that's just say something like, wow, that's really awesome. So what do you like about it? Is there anything that your website's not doing that you wish it was doing? Ask a few more questions. Maybe they like some things about their website, but not all things about their websites. You don't know unless you ask the question. If they, sue the, if they say the website is doing terribly, listen, most people jump the gun here and they say, well, I can help you with that. Let's set up an appointment. It's like, okay, but you don't, that's not a qualified appointment. That's just an appointment with someone that doesn't like their website. You don't know what specific needs they have. So just ask a few more questions. Just say, really, why? Or, you know, what's it not doing that you wish it was? Ask a few more questions. Identify a more specific need so that when you do schedule that appointment, the person's going to be really excited about showing up. They say they don't have one. Again, ask some more questions. Oh, really? Why not? Have you ever thought of getting one? Right? Or if they say they're working on it, what does that even mean? Does that mean that they're thinking about it? It's on their to-do list or are they under contract? Again, all of these responses require a few more follow-up questions so that you can either A, identify um, a need that you can solve with an appointment or identify that they're not a candidate after all. Either way, you need to ask about two or three more follow-up questions. We already went through this. I just kind of went through it on the opening slide. <laughs> okay, so at some point when you're having these conversations, the timing is going to be right for you to schedule an appointment. Now, you can go to mawc411.com, and if you click on uh, using the sales calendar, you can go through the actual mechanics of how to use the sales calendar and physically schedule an appointment. But what I'm talking about is how do you know what to say to somebody to actually schedule the appointment, okay? Listen, if they start asking you questions, that's a classic sales buying sign. It's time to schedule the appointment. At this point, what you're going to do, what most people are going to do is what we call the referral approach. Now, we talked about this earlier in the webinar where we make a recommendation or a referral where we of another service or a restaurant or a movie based on the fact that we can help somebody out and that we know it's a good thing. And that's exactly the kind of idea that you want to have here. 
um, because most people on the on the session tonight are not professional web developers or IT people. So what you would say is something like this. You know, it's not an area that I specialize in, but the company I work with has an entire division that helps businesses like yours effectively leverage the Internet. I'd be happy to set up an appointment and have one of our product specialists take a few minutes or 30 to 45 minutes and, you know, show the technology to see if it could help you out. What typically works best for you, mornings or afternoons? Great. Let me get you an appointment for that time. I'll call them up. I'll, I'll find out what time, if that works for them, and then I'll call you back to confirm. Awesome. So a couple of things here, guys. It's real simple. You made a strong referral. That's all you did. You didn't say you were going to answer their questions. You told them that the product specialist will answer the questions. You put weight in that referral because, look, you said you work with a great company who, right? You're not just saying you don't specialize, but you recommend this. You're saying, hey, I work with a really great company depart a uh, company they have an entire department that's really great at what they do i really think they can help you out it's such a simple natural and organic thing to do and that's what most people don't understand i think when you hear simple sales and you want to make a ton of sales you think to yourself oh well simple sounds too easy no the simple sales is just the most honest way for people to, to leverage our system and that's why we recommend that you start here there are people that sell um two to four or more websites a month using simple sales still. Um, Jeremy still uses simple sales and he definitely is an expert, but he uses this because it's simple. He knows that he's not going to be the one providing all the service that he's going to be using the team. And that's why he does that to Galad. Awesome example. She's, um, executive supervising coordinator with the company, uh, very, very successful web center owner and Nutrametrics um, person, um, but still using simple sales. And she's doing it so effectively to the tune of several sales a month. So um, don't don't question whether or not this will work. If, again, sales come from posture. They come from belief. They come from you believing the words coming out of your own mouth. And when you can do this simple referral approach, your belief is there. Your posture is there. And if that effectively um, increases your communication. It's really, really that simple. All you got to do is plug in, guys. At that point, you, you've set an appointment. A product specialist will conduct the website appointment for you. Um, the design center will design the site for your customer if they got a design package. Customer care will handle all the technical support. You're going to earn the BV and the ongoing BV, and all you have to do is be a good uh, a good customer manager. It's really, really that simple, you guys. Every once in a while, I call my clients up and just ask how they're doing. When new email marketing came out, I said, hey, we just launched a new email marketing system. You should call tech support and, and get started with that. I really think you're going to you can find that it's going to help your business grow. It's so, so simple, you guys. So you want to make sure that you're leveraging the team, that you're you're keeping it simple, and you're just communicating from a place of honesty. It always comes down to that. So, guys, if you want to win this contest, you want to earn points, it's real simple. First of all, you got to register. <laughs> it's at webvolumecontest.com. Build some belief. Check out some of the samples that we've done. Read some of the testimonials on mawc411.com. Identify who your possibilities are for website sales. Define what your approach is going to be. Do a little research and then leverage our team. It's so simple, you guys. Anybody can win this contest. If you saw what those point systems were like, if you're a business builder and you sell one website, Website, you have you have the opportunity to win first place. It's amazing. This contest can support your business in a real big way, in a meaningful way for the next 11 weeks and keep you on track on the way to hit, you know, the President's Challenge for International Convention. So I hope everybody's excited. I hope this was very helpful for you tonight. And I hope to see everybody at the contest growing their unfranchise and growing their web center business, guys. Thanks and see you at the top.